<clears throat> well, here we are at uh, part three of fitting a power, uh, power feed to a walk on mill. Uh, on the last, on part two there, the last thing I had to do was make bushing to fit this end of the feed screw, but the, the one I made was a bit too big. I had to remake another one, a few thousand small, smaller on the internal diameter and heat it up and shrink it on to this end of the feed screw. The reason we have to do that is because we want this bushing to revolve inside the needle roller bearing here. There it goes, revolves with the shaft. So that when we put this on here, it's revolving a decent fit in the needle roller bearing. So the next thing we have to do is actually fit our power feed. Onto that uh, bushing that we made. And there like that. Yeah, it's hanging just how we want it. I don't want it this angle, I want it nice and straight up and down like that. Drill a couple of holes into the end of the table here, tap them out, bolt it on. Right, so here we are then. Uh, Got the power feed clamped in the position I want it with it hanging nice and straight up and down. All I've got to do now is get a transfer punch and start marking out where I want my holes. to 16 mil and fix the power feed on the four cap head screws, 16 mil cap head screws. Okay, all nice and firm, well fixed to the end of the table. Next thing we've got to do is sort out the shimming for the drive screw, the drive dog. need to be shimmed between the internal here and the end of the uh, bearing there. Fortunately they do supply a decent little packet of about 12 or 15 shims various sizes from about 0.1 mil to 1 mil and they recommend a minimum of two millimetre shim in there. Uh, the problem is, how do you work out how to do it? So all I've done is kept putting them on, put a little bit of grease on the inside here until I actually picked the shim up on the grease there. You can see it there. So we're all set with that. So my next problem is how to uh, hold the drive dog in position and stop it uh, spinning out as it would if it's under power. Like that. It's going to spin out. Originally I was talking about cutting this, this last 17 cent, cent, uh, millimetres off here and pinning through, but I don't need to do that. 
but there's a keyway all the way through here keyway in the end of here so that'll be keyed on that'll be the drive dog okay except for securing it so um, what I'm going to do is make a plug for in here this is about 16 millimeters we know that I'm going to make a plug this is only for demonstration purposes in there like that I'm going to drill it right through count a bore about halfway and drill and tap to the end of the lead screw bolt that on and that will also give me a leave room for me to get my handle back on and it's just about clear when I make the plug I'll make it so it fits nicely in there with a lip here the same diameter as the end of the brassware here so that we can nip down onto that keep it in position at the same time give ourselves the opportunity to get our handle back on so that's the next job so by the time we've finished this uh, the whole project it should look something like this which is not bad really <laughs> 